Hello and welcome. Indian American biotech entrepreneur Vivek Ramaswamy seems to have emerged as one of the better talked about candidates after the first Republican Party debate. Eight candidates took part in the debate and Ramaswamy faced the most attacks by his rivals but also emerged stronger. First, the participants. Apart from Vivek Ramaswamy, those who took part in the debate were Nikki Haley, former Vice President Mike Pence, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie, North Dakota Governor Doug Burgum, South Carolina Senator Tim Scott, and former two-term Arkansas Governor Asa Hutchinson. To qualify for the debate, candidates needed to satisfy some polling and donor requirements. These include at least one percent in three national polls or a mix of national and early state polls between July 1st and August 21st, and a minimum of 40,000 donors. While former U.S. President Donald Trump didn't take part in the debate, he was at the center of the conversation. Apart from two candidates, Chris Christie and Asa Hutchinson, all other candidates backed Trump in the criminal charges that he is facing. Vivek Ramaswamy, who has always been vocal in opposing how the former president has been targeted by the present administration, pledged to pardon Trump if he is elected president. Now, as for Ramaswamy, he is a political rookie and all his rivals took swipes at him over this issue. However, the biotech entrepreneur is trying to transform this as his strength, as he is an outsider just like Trump was. Ramaswamy is well behind Trump, but has crept up in recent polls, leading to his position next to Florida Governor Ron DeSantis at center stage. Outlining the policies he would follow if he gets elected, he termed the US support for Ukraine amid the conflict with Russia as disastrous, saying he would not support an increase in aid to the country. Ramaswamy got into sharp exchanges with his GOP rivals during the debate. Former Vice President Mike Pence took a swipe at Ramaswamy, calling him a rookie. He said that it's not the time for on-the-job training. Ramaswamy hit back at Pence, calling him a super PAC puppet, referring to candidates who are generally considered to be part of the establishment. Ramaswamy also faced attack over his climate policy, for saying that he believed the climate change agenda is a hoax. Former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie attacked Ramaswamy, saying, I've had enough already tonight of a guy who sounds like Chat GPT standing up here. Vivek Ramaswamy was also under fire for his opening lines in the debate, which many people said was taken from a similar line spoken by Barack Obama during the 2012 presidential election. However, all in all, it would be considered a good start for Ramaswamy. He is one of the most talked about candidates following the debate and can surely build up from here. From breaking news, detailed analysis, in-depth interviews and explainers, follow the Times of India. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to like our videos and hit the bell icon to stay updated with the latest.